the laser activated irrigation. And then I'm gonna show you a couple that I did in my office. Um, this is the first one, this is sweeps right here. Here we go, now watch, look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles in this clear, this is a 3D tooth replica. It's sort of a plastic type tooth, but look at the bubbles in there. And we can see the bubbles in here and how it goes all the way to the end here. Now there's no PDL ligament, so keep in mind, there's no ligament to, to, to push back, on to give that tissue pressure back. So you will get a little bit of things uh, drip out there, but without with a ligament, that's not gonna happen. You can see the, the bubbles in there and the, the enhanced disinfection, that chemical debridement you're gonna get. Uh, this is back when I was doing a lot of vegetable juice um, on a little bit of a diet, you know, making sure that I'm staying healthy and on my vegetable kick. So this is beet juice, believe it or not. That's all I had in my office. I'm using beet juice and sweeps, and here it is, the sweeps. You can see the power of the sweeps. Watch the, the red dye, the beet go out. Look at the bubbles working through. Imagine you're shaping and then you're able to do your chemical debridement, your mechanical debridement through shaping and then your chemical debridement with sweeps. So that's pretty cool. And then you have the, here it goes, a deep, try to hold the, hold it still. Look at the bubbles at the apical third. This is where it's real important to clean out right here. Look at the distal or the palatal root. Pretty cool. All right, so there's that. So why do we need this enhanced disinfection or this laser activated irrigation? Why do we need it in our root canal treatment? Well, I wanna make a case for that right now. Anytime you do endo, oftentimes the anatomy is much more complex than we can see. We all know that, right? So we know that there's this deep, complex apical anatomy. We have these apical anastomoses. We have these isthmuses throughout. We have these uh, um, apical deltas. We have these secondary canals, lateral canals. There's a lot of stuff in there that we never see. So if you have an infected case, the better you can shape it, you get your mechanical debridement, and then if you can get a really strong chemical debridement safely, then you can actually clean out some of these deep uh, apical systems or these complex anatomy cases. You have a case where you have an apex of the tooth that has multiple pose or portals of exit. All right, you have multiple portals of exit there you go, you can see there's four or five portals of exit. You might have, some of these cases may have some really complex deep anatomy. You can see that. And so a lot of times we're only gonna clean mechanically one canal. But what about all the other, all the other uh, uh, foramens or portals of exit? If you have an infected case, this could be a problem. All right, imagine this. This is the apex of a tooth. You're at the apex and you, uh, the, the boardwalk are the canals, the boardwalk, the wood boardwalk. The houses are leos, lesions of endodontic origin, L-E-O, leos, or parls, periapical radiolucencies, or apical lesions. Those are all three synonymous terms. Imagine you have all the houses are the leos, they're the infection. Can we clean the boardwalk, the canals out mechanically Maybe just this one, maybe this one. Maybe we can get some files in those two canals, possibly. I know the one on the right for sure. One on the left, maybe if, you're, if you feel it, you feel a little kick there and you feel like it goes to the left, you might be able to mechanically clean those two canals out and then you get some healing on the lesions, the houses, they'll, they'll heal, right? What about the other ones? What about the boardwalk, the other canals that are that complex deep anatomy? We're not gonna touch those with our, our mechanical files. We're gonna have to rely on our chemical disinfection and therefore our laser activated irrigation. And this is where I think sweeps comes in and you can be able